Thank you very much, Michelle. Tell me a bit about this exhibition you have here. So, this exhibition was made um, uh, uh, finally because I've been waiting a long time during COVID and, and, and uh, sorting out all my grandparents' paintings. And finally, um, uh, I managed to show the public a little bit of um, their works. Uh, mostly over here there is Louis Verth, um, uh, who is my grandfather, who I was very close to and um, uh, I actually went down to Chadwick Lakes with him, drawing um, with him, taking sketches and then he would draw it, so I have a great memory of my Nanu. But my grandmother, Nana Helen um, Kavara, I've never met and um, when I look at her art and when I look at the story and the heritage and the, the relationship which is art for love, the passion and the creativity they had as a team, um, it, it impresses me and I've always promised myself that one day I would exhibit works of art that have a, a deep meaning. Um, it's not just what you see. Many of them are connected to Tripoli, which was a phase in their life which they, where my mother was born, their only uh, child, Marie's birth. Wara l-gwera wara l-skola t-arti, mar tripli. Ma marċ ruba, ma marċ Firenze pal ħafna nis, daw kizmi, imma influenza l-ruhu mil-kultura taħu u ħagost bi. L-istatara kem ħagost, ipitter l-su u l-postijiet ta' ta' tripli. Kienu jidju u għandu ħafna minnum dawn dances, u jidju bil-tamburin, u kienu jidju fit-toro. Anki l-istatara għandu ħafna minnum dawn, anki pitturi kbar, il-movement li kellum, u kien juza il-kultura taħhom. The different mediums they could use, from literally a matchstick, a toothpick, to a, a little snippet of a magazine, and making a collage, charcoal, pencil, a simple pencil, a simple pen, watercolour, flora. Uh, my grandmother has a collection of 380 botanical flora, which is uh, going to be made into a book very soon. A week um, we had my academia, Tiao. Metakin the school at Arti, and the school at Arti, l'unica institution, Kinet, Miftuha, Matul, Il Guerra. U emmek missiri u ommi kienu flimki u barra l-gwerra zawġu. Li fitin għalek din l-storja tan ħabba truħat għax mal-arti taħħon, saret din l-ħabba bejnito. Can you share with us a few personal memories of your grandfather? Some people say that I was his angel in the sense that he, he didn't get over my nonna's death very easily. In fact, art is what kept him going. And he went through a little bit of a bad phase. Now, it seems, I can't recall, but when, he, when I was born, it was one of the first times he got out of the house to come and visit me. And um, from there on, it was an inseparable relationship. He's taught me all about butterflies, and I, I have butterflies everywhere because, uh, as well, he taught me about metamorphosis. Of course, an artist in every way, form and sense you can imagine. Michelle, do you have any favourite pieces in this exhibition here? For me, what impresses me the most and what I have seen him actually doing is the collages. When he cuts out little pieces of magazine, if you had to look at it from afar, you would not recognize that it is an actual collage. But then you go up close and you see. And that, to me, amazes me. What happens after this exhibition closes? Where can people view the art of your grandparents? Um, I hope to be promoting it through the website that was created and also through um, the press, of course, thank you. 
and um, online sources right now and, and word of mouth really and truly. I would just like um, people to have a Lewis verse hanging up on their walls. Ideally a Kavara too, however they are much rarer. But I believe that the website and the online and the exposure that has come out of this exhibition will give them and the general public a bit of a better idea of who these artists, my grandparents, were. Dakin a journament dwar xinu jidri fixena tal kultura aw Malta illum jekkant kom xi kummenti ibatuhom fuq in-numru li jidher fuq l-screen. Jina lejja hogg għan-net TV u nixtiq ilkom il-lejl it-tajjeb.